Are human beings violent by nature? Um, I would say that we're both violent and non-violent, or we're both passive and aggressive, I guess. Um, and passive and aggression, or passivity and aggression can mix together in the phenomenon we, predictably enough, know as passive aggression. Now, <clears throat> violence, I think, takes many, many, many forms. Um, and I think one of the reasons why I sort of oppose contemporary pacifism, and I don't join in peace marches or anything like this, um, is that I think that, it, the, the, that contemporary pacifism tends to just substitute one form of violence for another. They um, substitute internal violence for external violence, and internal violence involving things like guilt and denunciation and you violent SOB and all this kind of thing. You know, what do you, you think that, that gives you bigger cojones if you, you know, strut around in a uniform or shoot somebody or something like that? Um, that's just as violent, if you ask me, as blowing somebody's head off. Um, you might not agree with that, but I believe that it is. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not really sure that I'm the same sort of pacifism that you are. Growling Griffin. Um, I would ask rhetorically or not, are we by nature a peaceful people? Do we see any evidence to support the view that war is on its way out in human civilization? I, or violence even. I mentioned Britain in the previous video, and a civil war is simply not going to break out in the UK. Lots of violence in Britain's streets, though, far more than, say, in a more war-torn place like the Middle East or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so realistically, uh, if we're opposed to war, uh, is is that sort of an attainable goal uh, to end war? I'm not sure. And what tools are you going to, do to use to end it? Are you going to use tools that are just as violent as um, war itself? Um, <clears throat> now, Another question I would ask is, if we want to end war, why? Um, it's an ethical question, isn't it? Why would we actually want to end war? I'm not saying that I don't want to end war, but I'd like to discuss or examine the motivations for pacifism. Um, what is it about war that you don't like, I guess, is the question I would ask. Okay, you don't like people being killed. I don't either. But if people have agreed to risk their lives, um, okay, well, who am I to stop them? Or even question their motives. Um, or if you're a person who likes to kill other people, as long as you're willing to put your own neck on the line and give them a chance to kill you, well, you know, that, that you know, kind of a sort of a Homeric conception of warfare, ancient Troy and everything, where you fought duels and everything. <clears throat> or heroic warfare, I guess, is the way it's called. Um, but if you're opposed to war, apart from the fact that you might not like, say, um, cities being bombed, civilians being killed, that kind of thing, which is, in many ways, nothing more than a preference, um, what's your ethical objection to war? Is it a right thing? I don't have the right to impose my will on other people. Well, is my I would ask people is is your right to impose your will on people required who says I have any rights to do anything rights are concepts and concepts are whatever we decide they are um, <clears throat> I don't believe in ideas like right and wrong good and evil or anything like that um, I'm still opposed to war but again it's visceral it's I don't think that it's a good idea I don't think that, like, I don't want to live in a, in a civilization in which cities are bombed and children are killed and this sort of thing. But ethically speaking, well, how do you make a case against it? It goes to the heart of how do you make a case against any kind of crime against somebody else? Um, is it absolutely right and wrong to do or not do certain things? I don't think it is. Um, again, this is 
the social contract versus utilitarianism, or the social contract versus a good and evil based ethical system. Um, no good and evil for me, thank you. Um, <clears throat> no ideals. Ideals, they just sort of... All ideals really end up doing is making us hate ourselves. Uh, because we never live up to ideals because they are ideals and we are human beings, flawed human beings. <clears throat>